Finding the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function can be applied to many different situations. I'm going to apply it to the very popular cell phone game, Angry Birds. The path of an angry bird can be modeled by the function, and I gave you an equation, where h is the height of the bird in meters and d is the horizontal distance in meters. Essentially what's happening is you're going to put this bird in the slingshot, it's going to be shot into the air, and h represents the vertical distance, whereas d represents the horizontal distance from the slingshot to wherever the bird ends up. Some questions that could be asked are, what is the maximum height reached by the bird? And what is the horizontal distance of the bird from the launch site when it reaches this maximum height? So first of all, we want to know, what is h? What is the maximum height? How high is this bird going to get? And then we're going to look for d. What is d when this maximum height is achieved? Notice that the equation is in standard form already, and any time that they ask you for a maximum or minimum, they're asking you to complete the square. So if we have the equation right here, we're going to start to complete the square by first of all isolating d's. We're going to put brackets around both d's and leave the 104 on the outside. Now the thing is, I want d squared inside the brackets, so I would have to kick out the negative 4.9. But if I do factor that negative 4.9 out, it's going to affect the other d value. So you have to take this 19.6 and divide it by negative 4.9 once it's factored out. And that leaves a negative 4. Now the 1 over 104 doesn't really change, it's still at the back. The next step would be, I want to start to uh, make that perfect square trinomial. Right now it's only a binomial. So I need that positive and negative um, number at the back. And you get that by taking this negative 4, splitting it in half, that's negative 2, and then squaring it, which is positive 4. Okay, so I really want that positive 4. There's my perfect square trinomial. What I don't want is this negative 4. I have to put it there so that it balances out to zero and nothing has happened to the equation. However, I really don't want it in the bracket, so I'm going to kick it out of the bracket. Now in order to do that, I have to remember to multiply it by any number in the front if there is one. So notice that the negative 4, when brought out, becomes a 19.6 because it multiplied that negative 4.9 in the front. The next step is to start to factor this, and it should become two brackets that are exactly the same and you're going to square that okay so that you don't have to write it out twice now this two you can get from many different ways uh, the two methods that I normally use are either you can take your four right here and split it in half so that's the two or you can take this back number and square root it and that would still be the two this symbol normally matches that symbol then we add these two at the back, that makes our k value, and we have everything in vertex form. So the k value is your maximum height. This bird is going to get up to 123.6 meters. And then they asked us about the horizontal distance. Well, that happens when your d value is positive 2, the opposite of this guy. Okay, so 2 meters from the slingshot is when it reaches this maximum height of 123.6 meters. Let's check out another type of scenario. Canada Goose has 300 Ontario online shoppers. The finance, finance team has decided to raise the price of their winter jackets from the current price of $400. A survey of the shoppers has determined that for every $20 increase in price, 10 shoppers obviously won't want to purchase the winter jackets anymore. What price would maximize the revenue from jacket sales? So first of all, we have to let x represent the number of $20 increases. What that means is, imagine that on top of the $400 jacket, I'm going to start putting $20 bills on it. So if, I, if x was 1, I would put 1 extra 20 onto the $400, so the jacket would now be $420. If x represented 2, well then what would happen is I would slap two 20s onto the $400. This jacket is now $440. Okay, so I hope you understand that. 
what we're going to do is in order to find the revenue, we would need to figure out first the cost of the jacket. And that's like we discussed the 400 plus $20 times the number of $20 increases. We also need to know how many jackets they sold. So normally it seems like they would sell 300, but we're going to subtract 10 because 10 people are going to not purchase the jackets every time you increase the price $20. So that's where this X comes in. Every $20 increase is going to deduct 10 people. Now what you're going to do is in order to find the revenue, you take the number of jackets times however much one jacket costs. So essentially you're taking these two brackets and you're just multiplying them together. That's your revenue. Okay, so that's right up here. And if we want to find the maximum, oh, okay, so they said maximum, that means I have to complete the square. And I can't do that in factored form. So I'd have to expand by using FOIL. So I just did FOIL, and now everything is kind of in standard form. But I could also just rearrange everything so that it is in standard form. So I like the x squared one first. I put together both of the x's right there. And then we have our last value right here. Okay, now you start to complete the square. So brackets, I don't want that negative 200 in front of the x squared, so I'm going to kick it out, but it's going to affect that 2,000. So once 2,000 is divided by negative 200, I get the negative 10 x. And notice that the 120,000 stays on the outside. I take this negative 10, I split it in half, which is negative 5, and then I square it which is 25, but then I also have to add that negative 25 in there. For the perfect square trionomial, I only want these three. I don't want this negative 25, so that's going to be kicked out. And I have to multiply it by 200 once it gets kicked out. So that's how this negative 25 became a positive 5,000. Now I can actually break this down into two identical brackets and that's why we write squared. So again you can get the 5 by splitting the 10 in half or by square rooting the 25. Okay and the symbols here and here match. Then I added the 5,000 and the 120,000 and I get $125,000. So this number right here represents our maximum. That's maximum revenue. This number right here is when the maximum actually happens. So you're going to get $125,000 maximum revenue when you put five $20 increases on top of the $400 jacket. So what does that actually mean? Five 20s is 100 bucks. So if you're going to add 100 bucks onto this $400 jacket, the best price would be to sell them at $500 each and that would give you the maximum revenue of $125,000.